Hello and welcome in this session on using the self-learning material. Dear learners, being an open and distance education learner, you are being provided with self-learning material. The self-learning material is being provided to you in form of print material. So in this discussion, I am going to suggest you what strategies you can adopt to use the self-learning material effectively. So when you uh, think about the self-learning material, actually your self-learning material comes in form of small booklets. But before talking about the self-learning material, let me talk about you, that is a distance learner. When you take admission in any program, you have certain goals in your minds. You have certain expectations from the program and you try to meet those expectations. Your motivation is very important because teacher is not there every day to motivate you. So your self-motivation, your intrinsic motivation is the key. Your attitude towards the open and distance learning system, your attitude towards achieving your goals is very important. Dear friends, the responsibility of learning is on you. Now comes how to learn. Actually, learning is an active and dynamic process. Learning is not only going through any study material. When you learn, you not only learn, you think, you recall, you connect. So it is also advised that one should review regularly what have been learned. How to learn? There are many ways. There are some tricks also. Like some people develop a mental image while reading. When you are reading something, you keep on associating the, your reading with your experiences and frame some mental imagery while reading. Some people, you know, develop some mnemonics. What are mnemonics? The short formula, like uh, my very educated mother just shows us nine planets. Then some people use mind maps. They develop some mind maps. They develop some images. They can draw some graphs. When we study, there are three questions which comes to our mind. When to study, where to study, and how to study. When to study, morning, evening, afternoon, after work, before sleeping, early morning, where to study, at home, at office, in the bus, during the travel in metro, and how to study, from where I can start, how much I can study, what should be my math to study. So all these things you keep in your mind. Actually, in study material, the print material, reading is very important. So there is a technique called SQ3R, which refers to survey, question, read, recall, and review. Survey, survey means to have a glance of the title page, the preface, the chapter heading, the index of the text. So if you have a glance of everything, this is called survey. Then comes the question, how far I depend on this material? This is a question which every ODL learner asks how much time you should devote to this chapter or topic and why more or less important should be given to a particular. Then comes the read. Please read with a critical mind and active mind. Make notes, underline the words, you can underline the phrases, you can find out some central idea, you can draw inferences, you can use the margins and you can write there some important points, you can underline the text. Then close your material and try to recall what you have read. Whatever has been read, should be recalled to ensure for better retention. Then review. A quick survey of the material that whatever has been given in the material, whether I have uh, read everything or not, whatever I have read, whether I have achieved the objective or not, or you try to answer those questions which you have formulated in the beginning. Note taking is very important because note taking keeps us active while learning and it helps us to have a record of what we have studied. So you can take uh, either summary what you have learned or you can outline the things which are important for you in that particular section or unit. Every program has certain courses and each course have some blocks. Each block has certain units. Then each unit has section and subsection from where you can get the study material. You watch this small video where I have explained that how you can download the study material using our eGyan course link. When you want to download our IGNU material in e-form, you go to the Google 
and type ignu.ac.in through google when you go on the ignu website you can see there is a link called egyan kosh when you click on this link it will redirect you to egyan kosh page so there are three things the swayam course contains the courses which we offer on swayam portal then the youtube video and the self learning material so when you will click on the ignu self learning material it will redirect you to the groups in name of schools you can click on the school of education then there are labels what do we mean by labels labels means the bachelor degree program certificate program diploma program master program suppose you are a beard learner so you will click on bachelor degree program when you will click on bachelor degree program there are old courses and new courses because you are new students you click on current when you will click on current you will find two sub communities bachelor of education in english and bachelor of education hindi so these sub communities are basically the medium of the material if you are english medium student click on bachelor of education english if you are first year student click on first year then you will see the types of the courses suppose you want to find the material of any core course you click on the core course you will have a list of the core courses suppose you want to download a unit for course 3 that is learning and teaching you click on that when you will click on it it will show you the blocks so suppose this is the first block if you go on the block there are block 1 you can download the whole block from here or you can download the unit wise suppose you want to download or read the unit 1 then please click on the unit 1 you can click on view or open when you will click or view or open the unit will come the whole unit in pdf file it is there you can download this unit you can save it wherever you want to save it uh, apart from uh, downloading our material from egyan kosh or ignu website if you have the mobile phone with android download our e content app there is a small video the link is given on this slide open this link this is a youtube video where i have shown you how you can use e content app to download our material we develop our study material keeping in mind three things that we make you as a learner to think to write and to do the self learning material which we develop in open and distance learning system is self explanatory in nature we expect that whatever is given in the material our learner can understand each and everything without any external support our self learning materials are self contained means we never ask our learner to go for any additional material so whatever is required whatever is essential to know essential to read essential to learn is included in our material itself our material is self directed means we give necessary guidance hints suggestions at each stage of learning in each section and subsection our material is self motivating we try to arouse the curiosity and we relate your reading and your learning with the familiar situations by using many case studies many examples and our self learning material is self evaluating also because we give self assessment questions or exercises or many activities and unit and exercises which we expect that while completing a unit you complete those activities and those activities are not being assessed by anyone outside if you complete those activities you will assess your progress by yourself now if you see the unit of any uh, self learning material the first thing which you will see there is a unit structure and it is divided into three clear parts the first part is the opening section where the introduction and objectives of the unit have been written then there is the main body where the content has been written in various sections and subsections then there is ending section where we summarize the unit as well as we give unit and exercises some references and suggested readings and answers to check your progress so if you see the unit in detail every unit starts with a structure this structure in the starting of the unit help you to locate the content easily what are the important teaching points in the unit this structure of every unit gives the clarity in presentation after unit structure you will see the introduction why we write introduction there 
because the introduction not only link you with the past learning it also gives an overview of the unit it plays the unit within the context of the course and introduction provides you study guidance next section is the objectives or learning outcomes so in every unit we write certain objectives objectives help you to know exactly what you have to do they show you that what you would achieve after studying the unit and also what will be the end product of the unit which will be measured or assessed when you see the format of a unit each unit have certain sections and subsections we break the matter into easily understandable small chunks to facilitate the graded learning process from simple to complex these sections and subsections help you you may find that there is one activity the activities basically uh, show the learners what they have or they have not mastered they show the learners what is important they give you an opportunity to practice and it help you to measure your progress then at the end of the unit you will find let us sum up or the summary the summary help to recapitulate more important learning points and also it reinforce learning it refresh and clarify what you have comprehend learners comprehension has been refreshed and clarified with the help of summary after the summary there are certain unit and exercises these exercises are there to help you for the preparation of the term and examination and also to help whether you have achieved the desired learning outcomes or not then there is a reference section the reference section basically helps you to know what are the sources which have been used to develop this unit we acknowledge the material which we used in the preparation of the unit and also sometimes we suggest some other resources those may be some reports some good papers some good books in our units we give you check your progress exercises the answers of those exercises you write on yourself so at the end of the unit some suggested answers are there so that you can match whatever you have written is matching with the expectations of the unit or not how to use slm effectively the first suggestion is that read carefully read actively and read critically our suggestion is don't jump sections if sections are there in a sequence they are they are there in a sequence due to certain reasons so if you jump the sections sometimes you may not be able to connect why one section is connected with some other section and how it is connected with the previous or next section try to read at least one section in one sitting this is our suggestion you may read 10 minutes you may read 15 minutes you may read half an hour you may read but whenever you sit to read please read at least one section in one sitting use the marginal space uh, use that marginal space to jot down the important points the point for further clarification or to extra study uh, after completing one section please attempt the check your progress exercises or questions for self reflection and please compare your answers with the possible answers given at the end of the unit and again reread the content if you think that your answer is not matching with the answers suggested or you need to reread the section when you are reading our slm please after completing the reading of one unit you should write the answers of the questions given at the end and the perform the activity suggested if you have certain queries questions there are weekly counseling sessions at your study center so go to study center attend the counseling and clarify the doubts it is always suggested that first you read the slm then you go to your counseling so that you can ask your queries and doubts you try to comprehend and if you are facing some problem you go to counseling sessions to clarify your queries and doubts so counseling sessions are not formal classroom teaching sessions uh, when you are reading your unit please share your queries with your peers when you go for the counseling and take their views also because peer learning is also one of the main open and distance learning and it is very helpful our suggestion is that please make best use of our material and supplement your reading with other easily available resources or the resources suggested at the end of the unit so dear learners enjoy learning enjoy reading thank you very much